that if you would approach the Equal Opportunity Commission and say, well, you know, we are applying, I guess, and this is why I need the clarity, for some type of exception. Because as Christians, we have a problem to allow or offer the service to this homosexual couple at our bed and breakfast. That is why I said what I said. Because why should Christians have to apply for any exemption to practice their Christianity? As it is, we offer services anyway. Anyway. Nobody should have to go around and say, I am straight or I am a homosexual. Who does that? You go to the store and you buy what you need to buy. Yes. Unless you're trying to instigate something. Why my question is the Bible considered hate speech under this discrimination bill. I will put forward an example and I will be done shortly. The Bible says, I think it's in Matthew chapter 28 verse 19, right? Just as an example. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So I am a Christian. You said, practicing your faith, no problem. So, one day I go on the street and I have a sign that says, Repent of your sins. Jesus loves you. Some person passing by may say, I am offended by that statement. I will make problems for you because now you are discriminated against me. Um, to use the quill, by that statement. Thank you. Good night, everyone. First of all, I just like to state that um, our God is not a part of confusion. And listen to the presentation, I realized a couple of things that the same issues we have in this bill, we have provision for those already in our laws. There is only one exception, and that is for the sexual orientation section that is not included in our laws. It is not clear. Hello?
First of all, as a Christian, I do not promote violence against anybody, no matter what you deal with in terms of sex. No violence. According to page 23, section 15, 2C, an educational authority shall not discriminate against a student by subjecting a student to any other detriment. What is any other detriment? It's a blank check. I do not understand it. I need clarity because I don't want to be exercising my Christian duty and have somebody say they feel discriminated and then they come, they make a complaint against the commission, then they come to me. I could do any other detriment and not even be aware that I did not any other detriment or do any indirect discrimination. <laughs> secondly, secondly, the function according to uh, PH 49 section 67.1 the functions of the Commission are to develop, conduct, and undertake research and educational programs. You talked about the home being protected. So my child goes and you give them an educational program about alternate lifestyles, and then they come home to me and ask me, is it okay to suck and do all of these things? Is my home being protected? No. And finally, Finally, section PH 23, section 52B, an educational authority shall not discriminate against a student, I'm a teacher by the way, by expelling the student from an educational institution administered by the educational authority. And last time I checked, there was a thing passed about public schools. Public schools really include all schools because they're government funded. So now schools are not allowed to expel a student if that student is a threat. I need clarity on that. So I end with this as I wrap up. You know the Bible declares in Proverbs 16, 25 that there's a way that seems radical to a man, but the end thereof are the ways of this. Open your eyes.
Asian people are scared <laughs> from the minority. <laughs>
represented by this commission, that's gross negligence and discrimination. To be honest, or it can be perceived as that. One other point.
there are some good pointers in it, but as a pastor of this nation, and I stand upon the word of God because God is the supremacy of this nation. Unless, unless some changes are made to this bill, I personally have to reject this bill. Woman shall not leave. The Bible said that. The Bible said that. We're talking about harassment. The Bible said that. We're talking about harassment. Is this a form of harassment or not?
this equal opportunity bill was you know, inequality, what people say. Um, very, the very, I believe it was one or two days when consultations started in one of, I don't, many people need time to vet this, to look it through properly, and I really feel like we needed more time because it's far reaching. We should have been given two weeks for really to, so that's a concern, right? The other concern that I have is you have to understand that um, when Unibam initially started um, this, this thing to a, a, appeal section 53, it was only said, listen, we just want the freedom to, when we in the privacy of our own home, for a man and a man or whatever, to do what they want. But you have to understand, we have seen in other nations around the world that this thing has been a Pandora's box and a whole lot of other problems have sprung up as a result of this. So you have to understand our concern. There are good things within the bill. Everybody here can see that. Right? So that is another, that's one thing. The other thing that I want to say, bear with me please. We need a response regarding, some people have asked, will content from the Bible be considered as free speech? We need a definitive answer. I know you have said that the people who are Christian will have, will have the freedom to practice their faith. I understand that. So, um, and then um, one other question. Is there room, would there be room to make recommendations? I know we are giving recommendations now. Um, will there be room to make recommendations to amend or remove any part of this bill? If yes, this is in the future after you get our suggestions, right? So, I just to try, right? Um, what is the medium for which such recommendations um, will be made? Um, and my last, my very last statement is this. It is clear that we are very, very uneasy about this bill because it has, it's far reaching. And so my statement is, number one, I, I cannot at this point support this bill. I do it for my children, my children's children. And I think it, it would be extremely unwise for any political party, any politician, any leader in this nation to go against the will of the majority. Because if, if politicians do not open their mouth, then silence means consent. It means that you are weak, and we are going to take men as the church who has opened up their mouth and said, we do not agree. That's all I want to say. Yes. No, 